Good morning. Every day, I start out with two goals. Work on this house, make a video for you. There are days where I don't get as much done as I want because one of those is conflicting. That happens. I accept that because my goal is just to get something done. And as long as I am making progress forward, that's making progress. Today was a really good example of a day that things did not go like I wanted. Uh, I like to be over here early, especially on the weekends, and really start to get things done. Last night I didn't get my video edited. I did play an amazing board game with amazing people, and that was entirely worth it. Don't let your goals get in the way of your friends too much. I edited it this morning, uh, and then had issues with my editing software, and then had issues uploading, and then had issues putting it onto YouTube, had issues encoding it and rendering it, and issues getting sound right, um, and I'm sure you saw that a couple times. But I got it done, and I'm here. It is dinner time now. That's why my video was late. If when you have a goal, and this is this place, and these videos are my two, two primary goals right now, as long as you're making it forward, you're making progress, you're getting there. So, with that being said, let's take a quick walk around, and let me show you what I'm gonna try to get accomplished in my very limited time before uh, it gets too dark to continue working. So, this room right here, this plaster is coming down. May not come out of this room, but this plaster is coming down. And finally, I am going to get this other room clean. And that, uh, that's kind of the one I'm dreading. Cause you saw it yesterday. All of this has to go. And that's a pain. That ugly insulation is under there mixed up with the blow in. So that sucks. That makes it a pain in the butt. We're either gonna try and take that insulation down that's on the outside edges first, or pull it up from the attic. Haven't quite decided. If you remember though, last time I tried to do this, uh, the next day I had a little video where the rain put a damper on my plans. Well, once we turned that sucker on and we had the mask on, we couldn't hear anything. It started to rain yesterday. And that caused some problems. You can obviously see right now the plastic came off the top of the truck. That's because of the wind. And then it blew out and it was wet and it got stuck to the truck. Super. Super fun. It's kind of a big mess in the back of the truck, a big muddy mess, but you know what? It's a truck, I can scrape it out, I can do whatever to get it out, not that big of a deal. Um, it's just really, it's really more annoying than anything. Uh, the one fortunate part, and I'm gonna see if we can't show you there, the plastic did stay down for the most part, and so it helped to keep the insulation underneath we didn't blow it all over the place, but a whole bunch of it did get loose. We didn't see it because it was loud and the sucker machine was on and we were dropping lat and yep. And then we were cleaning up, same thing. Say la vie, I guess. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna try and get this done as much of it as I can, really just bust through that part because uh, I really wanna get to the fun part where we can do it. In the next day or two, uh, you'll probably see a new floor plan from me. Mike and Jen, who are 2,000 miles away, uh, they came up with some amazing ideas yesterday we were chatting. Really, really some, some thinking outside the box ideas that I really, really liked. Uh, we'll have to find out if they work. Not too bad. Really pretty happy with that. So now it's just put that into the truck. And then eventually I have to get up there and get that and some of the little remnants that are up there. But overall, not too bad. And for the most part, kept the dust out of the other room. I like it. All right, so it's clearing this of plaster over here. And look what I found. Look at that. This is that same mesh that is over by the laundry room over there. Which means this is that same mesh that was over by that laundry room. 
which means that this was probably done around that same time. Cool, right? I know that I could demo this all way faster if I just didn't care at all, but going through it like this uh, allows me to learn a little bit more about the house. It allows me to um, kind of look at the house's history, and I'm learning a lot about like various construction styles as it went, which is also like just a neat thing to learn. Just one of the things that I, I really like to, to learn and know about. Yeah, so that's really interesting because if that was done and then that was done, then when I get into that bathroom, laundry room over there, I'm probably gonna run into some of this same plaster, this same light, and potentially some oddities in the wiring. Here's what I was gonna show you. See how this got all stuck right there? That's where that wire mesh is. Super pain in the butt, still trying to figure out the best thing to take it off. But honestly, I think it's just gonna be brute force. That might be the only way to do it. If you were paying close attention to that time lapse, you probably saw me beating the wall with a hammer. What that does is on these walls, this uh, plaster is really stuck on here. Like it is on here good. Like if this is what the whole house had been made of and the whole house was like, I wouldn't be doing this. What that does is it just breaks the plaster off and breaks it loose in the back. And then I can come through and either use the pry bar or the scraper or whatever. Um, and that dead blow is, is absolutely perfect for this. Here's the thing, you're not going at this with all your might. It's just a good swing. Let the hammer's weight do the work. Well, all right, short day of work, but got my stuff accomplished. I want to say thank you all for watching and coming along on the dirt journey with me. Found some pretty cool stuff today. We're going to talk about it in just a second. Did actually get more done than we thought, as you saw before, because boom, look at that. Yeah, got a, got a little wild hair. It's lovely Miss Jasmine over to uh, help me. And I uh, decided that, you know what? I'm taking lat down as much as I can today as well. It is very very dirty i have something to show you guys this house is really old 120 plus years old right based on when it was started to build it's been through a lot of different owners um i think four families at this point or we're the fourth family to have it or whatever it's been through a lot when we pulled that stuff down from the attic when that insulation fell this fell with it Unfortunately, the critter got to it, but how cool is this? Right. So it came from the and Givre and Givre studio here in Sokin. At first I thought this was a recreation. So I Googled and Givre Studio. There's not one here. But an ancestry.com forum or .co.uk, one of those, came up and showed that somebody else had pictures from like roughly the 1930s from the Anguivre studio. So that's unfortunate that, that one got eaten up by a critter, but I did say that one because this one did not. How cool, how beautiful is that? And I think 
because it sat in the attic and stayed pretty dry and everything else up there and protected from the sunlight, that's why it's so well preserved. I mean, this is in amazing, amazing shape. And just look at her, just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Um, if anybody can tell me the time frame of the Eng, 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 Engvir, 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 um, Spokane Studio and the time frame, like, let me know. Because uh, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure these are original and fairly old. I kind of kind of pulled this one out just a little bit. And you can see the yellowing on the back and whatnot. So, um, and if anybody knows who these people are, that would be even more fantastic. Um, because that would really, really bring some cool info and some cool closure to this place. And we found a hammer up there. So, anyways, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I mean, that newspaper I found at the bottom was really cool, dated, but this, this is amazing because these people probably lived in this house then. They actually might remember when this remodel, when this addition was made. That's crazy to think about. So, anyways, okay, I'm going to put this up here. Anybody knows who this is or can tell me anything more about the Angvir, Angvir... Uh, Spokane Studio, please hit it up in the comments below um, because wow, just wow. On another note, uh, today was a short day with all those issues I had with the video. I was able to actually get more done than I wanted. Uh, tomorrow will be a cleanup day and that's pretty amazing. Please, 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 I, I love the comments. I love the messages I get from everyone. Don't stop. I like engaging and I like being engaged, so keep it up. Uh, if you're really liking this, there's a subscribe button, there's a bell, and it goes ding or, or something like that. Toss any opinions in the comments. Uh, share this video so that we can, maybe we can figure out who this is and get some more information as we uh, find the history of this house. Uh, really, really cool. Anyways, I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Shower shout out to my friend Nona, who sent me these celebrity doppel box. There is nothing like a cold beer in a hot shower after a day's work. I really appreciate it. These are delicious. Thank you.